Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your second week of May. So that would be May 7th through May 15th. Generally my readings are love readings. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to get two oracle cards, one from this deck, one from this deck. Reveal them at the end unless one flips over while I'm shuffling. I do have Instago now, so if you are interested in a quick mini reading, they're only 10 bucks. If you're looking for something longer, the information is below on how to get one. The Instago readings are um, only for Apple iPhone users. And I will answer you within 24 hours, usually within 9 hours, but it all depends. This is for the sign of Pisces. For the second week of May. Oh, we got a flipper. It's a good one too, Pisces. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, Life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Beautiful. When the time is right, it will happen. Maybe the time is right. Now, keep in mind, this could be vice versa. So any of these energies could be for you or the person you're dealing with. So just keep that in mind. Generally, my readings are love readings. I don't know if I said that or not. but And they're usually for people that are struggling. So if you guys are living in a happily ever relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching these readings. Because usually these are to help people in whatever way they need to be helped. Oh. So the Ace of Pentacles reversed is there's, there's no new beginning, okay? There's nothing solid, okay? So we have new beginnings over here, but the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. Reversed, it says that there's nothing, there's no new, solid, stable, secure beginning. So it's a complete contradiction. Complete. All right. Um, interesting. There could be a loss, even a loss of money or a loss of something stable and secure. And sometimes when you lose something, that's when your new beginning starts. So who knows? Um, oh, you know, you're going to have to, this togetherness is needed to working as a team is needed. If you want something to work out, you're going to have to communicate. You're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to work together. However that resonates, I do not know. Now we have the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Love. This is a gift from above. So there could be an opportunity for new love coming in or this could be a reconciliation. All right, This could be um, a resurgence of a relationship if you're already in one. Okay, It could be either way. It's, it's an offer from above of love. Okay, and you may be dreaming about this person, whoever this person is. You may be, you may have been having some dreams about this person, but the biggest message I hear right now in these three cards is that if you want uh, this love and if you want something stable and secure, you're going to have to really put work into it. All right, you're going to have to make some compromises. You're going to have to communicate, and you're going to have to work as a team. You know, you might have to make a choice between two people as well, okay, because we have these two threes. You know, and you really need to focus on your future. What do you want? Do you even know what you want? Have you realized where you want to be, even in three, three years, who you want to be with? Have you come up with your goals? Um, this is about preparation. Have you been preparing for this new love? That could certainly be the case. There is absolutely a new beginning in love here. 
There's no doubt about it. This could lead to a beautiful union, a new partnership, where there's a lot of compatibility, okay? Um, there's happiness. But you do have to communicate freely and openly. Ooh. Oh. Five of Swords. Somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. Now, I don't know who that is. So, like I said, this could be a reconciliation. It could be because somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. I will zoom them in when we get done. But that Five of Swords right next to the Ace of Cups, you know, I feel like somebody has walked away leaving somebody hurt. There may be even some regrets. Hmm. Interesting. There's definitely some some sort of conflict that might be able to be resolved with communication. Interesting. Ooh. Ah, uh, so there's like a death of an idea here. There's um uh, rest, recuperation, solitude, withdrawal, dreams again. You're definitely having dreams. Whoever this person that you're dealing with, that you're thinking about right now, that you've been dreaming about, this person is the one, is the one that you probably want to unite with. Okay, there is some sort of preparing for this reunion. Whatever it is. Yeah, you've been tested. You know, and things have been stalled and moving very slowly. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. That's who we have so far. But I think that something, you know, has been stalled. You may have been learning something or they may have been learning something. Planning for the future, coming up with the, the right method to offer this love. Hmm, interesting. Thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Yeah, somebody's trying to come up with a plan because we have planning and focus right here on the future, realizing the goals, and this is planning as well. So somebody is try is thinking about how they can go back, wanting to go back. It appears that there could be some sort of reconciliation here, or it could be a new love, okay? Because the Ace of Cups can signify a new love. Either way, there's a partnership. There is a beautiful, loving partnership where there is a lot of compatibility but with the ace of pentacles reversed there could have been some instability and insecurity at some at one time one one time or another and it's led to a lot of conflicts hmm. Ooh, so this is no new beginning something hasn't ended i so i really this could be a reconciliation something hasn't ended There's no new beginning here. Somebody is still holding on to something. They are. Fear of change. Fear of letting go. I can't let go. Even though I've been, there's been a lot of conflicts and I feel like I've been stabbed. You know, I've been really hurt by this. But somebody's been patiently waiting and thinking about how to approach this love situation. Interesting. But it feels like it could have died. Something could have died. Interesting. Anyway, I want to get this. I know I say interesting a lot, but I can't help myself. Somebody may be thinking about, this is thinking about the future. This is thinking about, this is the future with somebody that has... You know, a situation that has ended, because this is an ending. Not being able to let go of this ending. Patiently waiting, trying to plan, come up with a way. Oh, we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is represented by the sign of Taurus. This is represented by the Scorpio. This is Scorpio. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Taurus. This is commitment. This is... Um, Listening to your inner guide, having faith and trust, believing in yourself, going down your own path, following your own path with faith and trust, and listening to your inner guide in regards to this union. You, you know what this is, Pisces. You know what you need to do, but you just need to, mainly your inner guide is giving you, sorry about that, 
is giving you the nudges, okay, that it's giving, your inner guide is telling you what to do. It is with that Hero Font card. That card is about listening, listening to what you're hearing within yourself, okay? Um, this is also the card of commitment, it's marriage. So I feel, you know, whoever this is that you're dreaming about, could lead to marriage if there's there is a lot of communication and some compromises but somebody is obsessed okay somebody is obsessed with their money or their job or being there's somebody is greedy unable to do the right thing the page of pentacles is in reverse is somebody who lacks integrity lacks backbone, doesn't apologize, holding on to shit they shouldn't be holding on to. Unable to let go of what has happened, let go of the past conflicts with the Five of Swords right underneath it. Therefore, there's no new beginning when there's an opportunity for a new beginning. You just have to have the strength and the courage and the confidence to let go of this drama, the conflicts, the hurt. This strength card is about... Ego, ego could be in the way. Ego could be holding you back or the other person back from offering this love. The strength card is about facing your fears, finding that power within you. Mastering your emotions. But somebody isn't doing that because here we're reluctant to see the new approach. Reluctant to see the new approach. Somebody has to let go and open up and stop resisting this change and communicate and com compromise. And here this is about finding your backbone. It's reversed and somebody isn't finding their backbone to do the right thing. There's no integrity here, whether it's you or the other person. Reluctant to see the new approach. That's what this card means. And it's true that there's a new approach needed here. Your inner guide knows what it is, but the ego is getting in the way. And I'm sorry, but that's what's happening here. Now, it's time to make a decision. And that is the truth. It is absolutely time to make the decision. Okay? You're at a crossroads. You have options. Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side and didn't turn out to be greener. All right. Somebody you may decide or the person that you're dealing with may decide to suddenly. I'm sorry, I got to take care of this. They may decide to suddenly um, change their mind. So you could suddenly decide to do something about this or the other person could suddenly decide to do something about this, whatever it is. There could be a sudden change of heart. That's what I'm trying to say. It feels as though there's a lot of anticipation, there's a lot of restlessness, there's a lot of detachment and, and withdrawal, withdrawal and lack of contentment because somebody is unable to see the new approach, act with integrity, find the strength within to follow their intuition holding on to their stance, holding on to this obsession, holding on to their views, holding on to something that doesn't serve them. Pisces, there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. There is no doubt about it. And this could be with somebody completely new or it could be a reconciliation. You know, whoever it is you've been dreaming about, okay? If you've been having dreams about somebody, that's who we are talking about here. Because I can see that there's been some dreams, there's been some hurt, there's been some heartache. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we also have a Cancer here. There's no forward movement. 
somebody has completely lost their direction, there's a loss of willpower, there's a loss of mental um, stability, I can't master my emotions at this time, I don't have the discipline to take action and get my life back on track, somebody is being very stubborn and hot-headed, and it hurts, somebody is going through a lot of hurt right now, grieving, There could be some regrets. Definitely somebody's overly emotional here. Somebody ha is totally feeling at a complete loss emotionally. Alone. Feeling like they've been taken advantage of. Completely stuck in a rut. Obsessive, but unable to take action. You may feel like you've been used, you've been hurt, you've been taken advantage of. You may feel like you can't communicate with anybody at this time. You are completely withdrawn. This could be you or another person. There's no forward movement happening because somebody is unwilling to open up and accept a change and compromise and communicate. And I'm sorry that this is what this is, but it is. Somebody has lost their faith, unable to take a risk, when there's an opportunity for love here. There is an opportunity for love here, but you have to open yourself up and you have to put yourself out there and you need to not think that you're going to be taken advantage of. Your thoughts become things. You have to believe in the path. You have to believe in yourself. You have to follow your inner guide. You have to step back and listen to your inner guide. You have to go after what you deserve. It's about give and take in a relationship, right? You get what you give, and you give what you get. That's how it's supposed to be. You may be feeling really emotional during this week. Because that's what it looks like to me, okay? Somebody is feeling very, very emotional. Withdrawn. Disconnected. Because it feels like their future is slipping away. You know, their future love because they're unable to open up, communicate, and see things from a new approach. I am so reluctant to see things from a new approach. I won't. I won't. So I feel like this is a week of an opera. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Could be with someone new. Could be with somebody of reconciliation. It's all in your hands. It's about compromising communicating and working together. There's been some regrets, there's been some hurt, there's been some heartache. And if you don't take a risk, you won't get what you deserve. Oh, oh interesting. Like it could, it could lead to a wedding. I said marriage earlier, way back. Whoever this is that you're dreaming about, could lead to marriage. This situation involves marriage. Are you ready? Is that is that what you want? Is that what the other person wants? Maybe that's where the conflicts lie. No, I don't want I don't want that stable. I don't want it that stable. Well maybe the other person does and won't take deal with anything less. I don't know. Maybe that's you. There's an opportunity for love here. Should you look at something from a new approach? And that is what I have for you, Pisces. Talk to you later. By the way, Instago, I told you about all that. Quick, $10, go for it.